Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Siti Warasida binti Abdullah. Today I'm going to talk about monocropping and intercropping. First, I'm going to give you the definition of monocropping. Monocropping is the agricultural practice of growing a single crop year after year on the same land. As you can see here, this is the picture of monocropping. Maize, soybean, wheat and paddy are the common crops that are often grown using monocropping system. Now, I'm going to talk about advantages and disadvantages of monocropping. I would like to start with advantages. The first advantage of monocropping is specializing and consistent crop production. Specializing in single crop throughout the farm, the farmer can optimize the processes as the seed, fertilizer, water requirement, pest control, and harvesting method will be the same throughout the farm. Next is crop in demand. Monocropping practice can help crops that are popular in market. So the farmer will evaluate the crops that are most commercially viable to grow. Then they will choose the crop that always be demanded in the market. The last advantage is easy and simple. It is always easier to do one thing than multiple things at once. Growing single crop throughout the field is always easier for farmers and simpler to do rather than growing multiple crops at the same time and in the same farm. Now I'm going to explain the disadvantages. The first disadvantage is damage of soil quality. If farmer grow only one single crop on the field, it can lead to intensive farming throughout the farm. If farmer grow, if farmer grow this crop every year in such a manner, it can lead to depletion of soil nutrient. So it can reduce the soil quality. The, the next one is damage to the environment. The increase of fertilizer and pesticide applied on field can cause water pollution and air pollution. Monocropping practice also can lead to deforestation due to high demand of produce. The last disadvantage is loss of biodiversity. Growing specific species of crop leads to loss of biodiversity. It also limits the choices for customer as they don't have much variety of produce to buy from. Now, let's move to the intercropping. Intercropping is a multiple cropping practice involving two or more crops on the same land. The most common goal of intercropping is to produce a greater yield on the given piece of land by making use of resources that not be used that not be utilized by the single crop. The combination crop for intercropping is crop and lombi, corn and lombin or corn, soybean and oats. Now I'm going to explain about the advantages and disadvantages of intercropping. The first advantage of intercropping is improving nutrient resource use efficiency. This is to ensure food security by increasing yields while reducing environmental impact. 
Developing countries like China, Ethiopia, India, Indonesia, Mali, and Niger have paid considerable, considerable attention to enhancing productivity throughout intercropping. There are very close relationship between yield advantage and nutrient uptake in the intercropping system. The last advantage is mutualism in intercropping. The beneficial interaction between crop species and mutualists allow to improve yield and reduction of both biotic and abiotic above and below ground stresses. And it holds potential to ensure productive and stable agroecosystem. These two points of advantages of intercropping, I got this information from the article of China Agricultural University. Now I would like to explain the disadvantages. The first one is yield reduction. Intercropping can cause yield reduction of main crop. Intercropping system will not reach as high a yield as monocropping system as there is competition among intercrop for land. There is a competition among intercrop land for light, nutrient, and water. Yield reduction may be economically significant if the main crop has a high market price than the other intercrop plant. The last disadvantage is higher cost maintenance. In particular, weeding, which may have to be done by hand, this is not a serious problem in country where excess farm labor is cheap like Ethiopia, but for countries lacking such a labor force, intercropping will result in increased costs. For these two point of disadvantages of intercropping, I found this I found this point from the Journal of Biology, Agriculture and Healthcare from Wolato Sodo University. Now, let's move here. I have explained the monocropping and intercropping. Now, let's see their differences. As you can see in this table, these are the differences between monocropping and intercropping. From the definition, you can know that they are different. They are different from the numbers of crop. For monocropping, only have single crop, while intercropping will have two or more crops. And monocropping usually will has less competition, while the intercropping will have high competition. For the sowing time, monocropping only have one time because one crop, but Intercropping, we have different time because it has different crops. I think that's all from me. Thank you.